What are you eating? What is that? Possum? Are you eating possum? You like possum? Chick for possum? Possum Malay? I'm going to do an interview, okay? What's your name? Uh -uh. Okay. What's your favorite color? Mm hmm. Do you have a favorite number? Mm hmm. Favorite television show? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have a favorite animal? No comment. So many. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, monkeys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So it is Thursday, the 13th, 23rd. Gosh, you guys, I know it's the 23rd. Why do I even? <laughs> I can't see. I can't see my computer. Um, I am downstairs. I need to go to the post office. I got some to ship. It's 2.40. I wonder if I could get uh, this ribbon trim done. I'm going to see if I can. I'm not even going to... I don't even think I'm going to start up my embroidery machine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to turn it off right now. I've got a bunch. Two... Okay, so my battery totally died. I'm going to run upstairs and grab a battery. <clears throat> Sorry, I have, my phone was going crazy. Um, I did get this right here, which is a thread order. I ordered from United Thread, you guys. And that's like the place where I usually order. Um, like if there's something I need, um, I will get it from All Stitch, but a lot of times they don't have certain colors that I want in like these bigger spools. So I ordered from United Thread. And I was out a lot, or not out, but running low, where I knew, I'm like, hey, if I'm ordering, I'm going to go ahead and get these, because um, mainly I needed this color. Um, I have a different color. It's a little bit of a darker. And this is what I use for, like, my skin tone. Um, will you bring her back down? Journey's climbing up the steps, you guys. It's... 1723 I think this color is called flan and it's um, it matches the fabric and I get a lot of questions about the fabric too and it is from Hobby Lobby if I can find the footage I showed before like when I got it and where it was and all that stuff <laughs> If I can find that footage, I'll insert it. If not, um, next time I go, I'll film it. I got more of this. I may have just ordered the same one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't. We're cool. We're cool. I have two different shades of this lavender. Or lilac, whatever you want to call it. One is a little bit a bit darker and one is a little bit of a lighter and this is the one that I was almost out of it's somewhere around here so this is the lighter the little bit of a lighter shade it is 1834 yeah so these are that and then that one is 1711 so 
but I kind of I really like this one for certain designs and I like that one for certain designs so um, this one I prefer for like a Paw Patrol that I do so I like that one um, let's see and this is the turquoise that I always use it's like $15.93 I think it's called like blue macaw or something like that so and then last but not least I got my two pinks. This one is just like a hot pink that I use on like mini masses and wherever I need hot pink. Um, and this is the super bright hot pink that I use for like JoJo's. So anyway, I got those two. I'm just going to put them back in this box. And I have this idea. Um, I ordered 11 spools of thread. Okay, we got flan, one that says baby. I think it was this one, which is baby chick. <laughs> oh, it's just tiger pink, yeah, all right. Anyway, this is the pink I always get, which is like bubblegum pink. I already talked about that. And this is like my orange I get, it's called tiger. It's like a really, really orangey orange. And this is like super bright, I really like this orange. And then I ordered some more of this camel. This is the color that I use for like Bubble Guppies, Molly, um, anything that's like a lighter shade of brown. Um, for, I was going to say for uh, Princess Tiana, the brown that I have on my thing right now is what I use. It's a little bit of a darker brown for her skin tone. Because she's not really light skinned. If you watch the um, movie, she's actually pretty dark skinned. So I use that and then I use this super dark brown for her hair, which is right next to that black. <laughs> next to the black. Yeah, that's a super dark brown that I use for her hair. And then this is like my aqua that I use. I think this is called like Robin's Egg or something. I really like this color. That's what I always keep. Um, I usually only change out these three in the front when I change colors because this is a 16 needle I don't have to change colors that often but there are certain ones that take certain colors like there's like a really super dark blue on there lavender pretty much stays there um, unless I'm doing Jojo's because then I change out um, the lavender for the hot pink and then I change out where that blue is the dark super it's like called carbon right up front right up here there <laughs> I change out that one with my this baby chick color what I use for her hair Jojo see with hair so anyway so I just wanted to share my thread order which I'm glad that came in I'm just gonna oh and so my idea you guys so I'm cleaning out a bunch of stuff I'm trying to get rid of some of my fabrics um, the stuff that I've just had and held on to for a lot a long time um, so I'm going to have a lot of different fabrics. If you're not on my Facebook, it's Sterling, like my husband and daughter's name is Sterling. And then Styles with an S. And you can send me a friend's request and then you will see the stuff that I'm posting. Um, right now I'm only selling it there. I was thinking about moving some of it to Etsy, which takes time. So I'm kind of like, I'll get to that point. Um, let me just try to clear out as much as I can first and then I'll start putting stuff on Etsy and see if it sells um, my goal is to clean up four of these cubbies which are you see my cubbies and they're all jam-packed full of fabrics and stuff so I want to clear out like these four right here um so I'm going to you know anything I don't use that's over here in these cubbies because these ones are all full and covered up um, I'm going to pull, you know, whatever I want to get rid of. And then I have a table that's set out here. And that's where I've been moving all the fabrics that I'm selling out to that table. And the table measures like right in the center of the table where it folds. It is one yard. Each piece is like one yard. So the yard the table is two yards long. So I just use the center like a cutting table. So when I cut and measure, so it works out perfect that way. She's watching TV. Um, so my goal is to clear out four of those so that way I can move like when I have ribbon and stuff You see my glitter ribbon um, I can move that into a cubby and you see how I have all my threads just like laid up here 
my idea was to get, um, cause I was looking at different ways of, you know, storing these because, you know, it's only been like a year now that I've been using my big giant Melco machine that I've been using these ones. So I never had to worry about, you know, and these, these thread racks only have little tiny pegs. I know you can buy them with the bigger pegs for these ones, but, um, I just don't want, I don't know. That idea just doesn't appeal to me. Um, I want to get like a little shelf to sit up on here, to sit up on this where I can put my threads. So it'll be taller, but like I can have like a row of like my pinks and you know what I mean? Just like, um, I was looking at into, I don't want the wrap to be really super, like I don't want it, I guess it could be as wide as these cabinets, but I really don't want it to be. Um, I want it to be kind of like a spice rack where you might be able to fit one or two two spools on so really I only need it like two lengths of these wide and then different shelves and but I want it to be kind of long so that way I can put the all the threads up there I saw some stuff on I didn't go on Pinterest but I was looking through um, I just googled like um, large spool storage and that kind of thing and I saw quite a few different pictures and I was like oh I kind of like um, my first idea was to put shelves up over on this wall right here, you know, and then scoot this out and then I'd have all the different threads right there since I change it. But I don't really know if I, I don't really know if I want to do that or not. But anyway, I'm just babbling and I could be done with this ribbon trim, but I'm babbling. <laughs> Counting thread. Oh, is that so pretty? Thank you. Put them in the box. Count them and put them in the box. One, two.
because thread is so fun to play with. It's made it out here. What is that? It's bleeding. Something's bleeding. Let it go. It's probably like, is it wet? No. Oh. It's like gum. Like it was gum. What did your sister give you? I got new one in Elsa doll, so I gave her my old one. High five. What do they sing, Journey? Let it go. Journey's gotten into Frozen. She sings Be Wanda Snowman. Can you sing it? Do you want to build a snowman? See the doll. When you drew on yourself, we gave you a bath. Look. She drew on herself today. Her I'll insert pictures. Her paint is She chipped. got in deep trouble. Yeah. It's like chipped, so it's blue. Like, I guess the plastic was all blue. I know. <laughs> Do we have any Do you remember? No. 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 So I'm ready to go upstairs. It is 12 o'clock. Those are for the bows for my tutus. I've got three of them there. But I made, this is a heat press. This one. This one. This one. This one's my favorite. This one and this one. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.